The Syrian civil war and subsequent refugee crisis is one of the biggest humanitarian catastrophes of our time. The United Nations estimates that two million Syrians have fled the fighting and crossed the borders into the neighboring countries of Lebanon, Turkey, and Jordan. The scale of this refugee crisis is huge. There are hundreds of thousands displaced here in northern Jordan alone. And it's putting a huge strain on an already strained economy here. There's not a lot of income up in this northern part. It's very sparse. We're just a few miles from the border. And this is one of many informal refugee camps that have popped up since this crisis began. Most of these refugees have endured a living hell. They fled their nation where many of them had their homes destroyed, they've had relatives killed. They give order to the army to start shoot the citizen. He didn't want to shoot the citizen, so he left the army and escaped. The Syrian city of Dara is only about 10 miles from here and they can still hear the bombings happening frequently. The atmosphere is extremely tense. People have just heard news of the chemical weapons attacks. They're worried for their families that still may be living there. For the last few days, I've been traveling here in Northern Jordan with the US-based nonprofit Operation Blessing, and they're working with the local Red Crescent Society to identify camps like this where people are living without any support, hardly any food, water is extremely scarce, and Operation Blessing is providing relief kits which contain enough food to last a family for two weeks. They provide them with hygiene supplies, with soap, and also today we were here doing a distribution of blankets because despite during the day this region being extremely hot, at night the, the temperature drops and it's very cold. The chief of one village was so stoked with the work that Operation Blessing was doing that he came and gave me a big kiss on the head. And these are the people that the Assad regime are bombing. They're beautiful, loving people. They want to live in peace, but they've been forced out of their country and they're living in these horrible conditions. As I've been through these camps talking to the refugees, I asked, when will you be able to return home? And of course the answer is, no one wants to go back until there's peace. But with the current political climate and the threat of even more war on the horizon, that peace looks very far off. And unfortunately, these refugees will continue to have to live in these difficult conditions. Find out what you can do to support the efforts here, right there on Riot News. And let's all join together to lend a hand and have an impact during this critical time in the Middle East. I'm David Darg with Riot News at the Syrian border in northern Jordan.